Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. We will be demonstrating how our leave management system can streamline and simplify the process of managing employee leaves. As many of you know, managing employee leaves can be a complex and time-consuming task, especially for larger organizations. Challenges include tracking leave balances, ensuring compliance with policies, and minimizing disruption to productivity. An effective leave management system helps in automating this process, reducing administrative burdens, improving transparency, and ensuring compliance. In this demo, we will cover the key features of our leave management system, including leave booking from the admin side and from employee self-service. We will also cover tracking leave balances, recording them, and generating standard reports, which will give us a snapshot of employee leave records. We will start with a brief overview and then move into a live demo where we'll showcase how the system works in real time. Here we have a login screen where a user can securely access their accounts. Each user, whether an employee, manager, or admin, has unique credentials. I'll go ahead and log in as an HR manager to show you the features and functionalities available in the system. Now that we are logged in, let's navigate to the Leave Management window, which is the main hub for managing all leave-related activities. This is the landing page or dashboard of our system. Here you can get a quick overview of all the essential information and actions available on this screen. So when I logged in as a manager, you can see the workflow and notification widget. From here, we have the workflow configuration. Based on that, HR can see the activity and make a decision of approval or rejection of the request. Other than this, if a manager has access to all the responsibilities related to the core HR activities, he or she can get access to some data related to probation, completion, end of service, and any other information for which he or she is responsible. On the left-hand side at the top, we have the user profile section, which shows the logged in username along with the role with easy access to account settings and the logout option. On the left-hand side, you will see the navigation menu. This is where you can access the different modules from HR management. Here we can see general setup, workforce management, absence management, attendance, salary, claims, and recruitment. We can extract the leave-related data from this window. We are going to use this window for leave booking and generating leave reports. If we click on the employee role, as this person is an employee as well as responsible for other activities, that's why this information is visible for this role. When I change it to the employee role in this organization, the employee can see limited information on his or her dashboard. So when I logged in as an employee, here you can see limited information displayed. From this page, we have given the employee self-service option. So when the employee clicks on this button, the system will navigate to the employee self-service form. This is the widget showing the claims submitted by that employee in the previous period. Here we have the notice field. Any approval or rejection done by the manager can be seen by the employee in the notification widget. In this widget, the employee can see the leave balances, including calamity leave. In this widget, the employee can see the last three records submitted by him or her. From this widget, the employee can directly click on employee leave. The system will navigate to the leave request form. Over there, the employee can submit the leave record. And from this widget, the employee can generate or download the payslip for previous months. In this particular widget, the employee can see the details of colleagues who are on leave on the current date or in the upcoming year. So let's move to the Employee Self-Service page. When we click on the Employee Self-Service page, a new form will open. In this form, we can see the basic employee information and the team members in their department. Let's move to the Leave Request option. When we click on the Leave Request, this window will open. In Apply Leave, the employee can click and submit a new leave request. He or she needs to add the essential information, the leave type, start date, and the end date of the leave. Based on the selected dates, the applied duration will appear, and later on, save the record and submit it for approval. If the person wants to see the leave request details which were submitted previously, you can click on Leave Request, see the details and the leave statuses as well. 
along with the applied duration and dates. Before booking any leave, if the employee wants to view the leave balance, he or she can click on Leave Balance and can select any of the absence types from the year, can check the leave balance here. In this, we can check the net entitlement available to that person and how much leave is availed during that period, so the user can check this also. That's about leave booking from the employee self-service. Here on the dashboard, we have an option of Edit Home, where the employee can add the available widgets and the access given to the employee role and HR manager role. In this, he or she can drag or delete the options from the dashboard. For example, if you don't want to see the employee-only option, you can delete it from this dashboard and it will be removed. But if he or she wants to see the details, simply go to the dashboard and the widget will be added to the dashboard, which is displayed on the screen. Now let's move on to the admin screen. If employee self-service is not given to an employee, an admin can book a leave on behalf of an employee. Here I am changing the role from employee to HR manager. From the menu, we'll select HR manager. In absence management, we have the leave request window. When we open the leave request window, we can create a new leave record. We'll navigate to the fields we need to fill in for booking a leave type. And here in this option, the employee can check the leave balance of an employee. So, when we click on check leave balance, the system will navigate to the net entitlement screen as shown in employee self-service. The manager will select an employee and the absence type. They can see the net entitlement of that particular employee. Later on in this widget, we have the standard reports available so the user doesn't need to go again and again to the menu and search for the reports. He or she simply comes to the landing page, clicks on the report, and the system will directly navigate to the menu and the user can extract the report. So like here, we have the Leave Ledger report. Select the parameters based on the requirement. As this person has access to all four organizations, all four organizations are appearing. The user will select the organization here, the start date from when he or she wants to generate the report, based on the parameters selected, the employee can generate the report. So here I'll show you one example of this. I'm selecting the period from January 1st until the month of December. And in this, we can generate the report for one employee also and for one particular leave type. The employee details will be displayed here like this. All the detailed information the HR manager can view in this report. Similarly, along with the leave ledger report, we have another report, the leave listing. In this leave listing report, we can see detailed information from which date until which date the employee applied for leave and what the status of that leave is, whether that report is in the queue or approved by the approving authority. Based on the parameters selected, the system will give you the results. Apart from this, we have the advanced search which will help to view only those records which the manager wants to see. In this, we have various parameters like approved leave, canceled leave, in-progress leave, last month's leave, leave duration, more than 10 days. So we don't need to apply filters or anything on that. We simply click on the advanced searches and the system will navigate to those screens. For example, I want to see for how many leaves the status is in progress. So I'll click on the in-progress leave the system will navigate to only those records. With the help of this, the manager can make a decision of approval or they can approve the pending leave requests. Moving to the landing page, here we have the graphs, which will give us a snapshot of paid leave and unpaid leave. This will give us a comparison of paid leaves taken in the previous month and in the current month. Similarly, we have the leave status window. In this, based on the leave status, which is not submitted, like if an employee created a record but he or she didn't send it for approval, that record is in a not submitted state. So we can see those records as well. We can see how many leaves are in progress. If any leave is canceled by the manager or HR based on the approval, we can see the count of those. Here we can see the approved status comparison from the previous month to the current month. The last part gives us a snapshot of the last three months' salary based on the various leave types, how much leave is taken by employees, whether the trend is taking annual leave or sick leave.
so we can see the count of how frequently employees are taking leave and which leave type is taken more by the employees. So this is all about the dashboard available to the manager. Now let's move on to creating a new leave record on behalf of an employee. When I click on Create New Record, the system will navigate me to the Leave Admin window. Here we have mandatory options marked in red, so the user needs to select all the information. Once the organization is selected, only those employees will be shown in the employee field who belong to the selected organization. Apart from this, we'll select annual leave or any other leave type the employee applied for and the start date and the end date of that leave. We have the functionality of half-day leave. The employee can apply for a half-day from the employee self-service as well as from the admin side. Here we can see in the leave detail that this employee applied for four days of leave from the 20th to the 23rd. Based on the header details, the duration will be split into four sections. As one day is a weekend, the weekend is excluded from this leave. So, we can see three days of leave are in the queue, applied for three days of leave, the 20th, 21st, and 23rd. The 22nd is a weekend. Now we have submitted the four days of leave with all these details, but if the employee wants to come to the office on the 23rd of September, but only wants to take a half day, we can mark the half day at the detail level. Based on that, take the first half or the second half of the day on the 23rd of September. The duration will be updated here. That was all about our leave management system. Thank you.